This quick tip will show how to adjust the end clearance on a Viking Universal Seal Series internal gear pump. End clearance is the distance between the end of the rotor teeth and the pump head, measured in thousandths of an inch. End clearance is set to provide the maximum performance based on the liquid viscosity and temperature. It can also be adjusted to compensate for wear over time. End clearance is adjusted by rotating the threaded bearing housing at the shaft end of the pump. Recommended end clearance settings for your pump are found in the technical service manual. To begin, back off the bearing housing counterclockwise until the rotor shaft can be turned with a slight noticeable drag. This point is known as the zero end clearance. Mark the position of the bearing housing with respect to the bracket. Using the measurements from the table in the technical service manual, make a second mark on the bracket left of the first mark at the distance indicated. Here we require 5 thousandths of an inch end clearance for a model KK124A pump, so the mark is made one and a half inches away. Rotate the thrust bearing assembly counterclockwise until the bearing housing mark aligns with the second mark. To maintain position, tighten the two self-locking set screws in the outward face of the bearing housing with equal force against the bracket. The pump end clearance is now set and locked. Be sure the shaft can rotate freely. If not, back off an additional length on the outside diameter and check again. For a complete repair, be sure to see our Universal Seal Series repair videos at vikingpump.com. Thank you.